Oh, he's so sleeping, you know what, guys? He's been sleeping for like, like a long time, like two years. <laughs> Good morning guys, this is Brenda from my Wee Wee Bones Cradle and here I have Emmanuel Luke. Uh, he is my summer rain kit, real born kit that um, I received a while ago. This is um, that vintage um, sleeper that I got at the thrift store and I did change him into a girl once. I had him as a boy. And then I turned him into a girl, and now he's back to being a boy. Aww. He's so cute. Okay. The windows are still closed. We had the time change, daylight savings time. And, um, yeah, so even though it might be, like, nice out, um... <laughs> it gets dark really early. I think it's starting to... I'll open the curtains with you in a second. But, um... That looks so dirty on camera. Ooh, look how much I could see on camera. <laughs> Anyways. The temperature is plus 2 Celsius and 20 degrees in the house. 35 Fahrenheit outside and 68 in the house. Actually, the 35, there's no wind it's really nice. Really nice out. And the snow melted. Okay. Um. wonder if I should open up. Turn off these. Or maybe not all of them. It's not that bright out. And. See, your snow is gone. Again. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking, what's the yellow thing in the yard is glowing? But no, it's just, it's a reflection of my sensi. Oh, it's so dark in here now. But look how pretty that looks. And there are shadows everywhere. Harsh shadows. Can okay, want some coffee this morning. And you hear that buzzing sound? It's a Keurig. I don't know why it buzzes. So... Move this out. Still kind of dark out there. Just like that. No snow. Well, just there's a few patches of snow. Okay. Mine is the kind where you have to add the water each time. So. Oh my god. Man, the camera picks up everything. Oh, that's water. Back here. Okay. Wonder how that got. Oh. I gotta clean up thoroughly later today. Now that the weekend is over. I need to pull this out because my mug is kind of tall. My mug there. Put the water drain into the reservoir. And today I want to use sorry, the it's a donut shop blend. And I buy the generic because I'm cheap, you know. Because <laughs> actually I like this kind. The donut shop is like a light, a light scent uh scent a light blend but with a little bit of sweetness to it so it's a radia cup coffee fresher ground and i like to play around with it a little get the grounds loose and with the cake cups i just shake it but these come like this so 
and then drop it in. Is it even turned on? Anyways, and then I add, this is Carnation Hot Chocolate, and where would it say that? Marshmallow Carn, Hot Chocolate Mix, the marshmallow one, it adds more creaminess, so good, and then one little sugar twin, and also, um, I have coffee white near the generic Walmart kind. It's really good. It's not as good as um, the real stuff, which is, um, I forget. So I'll wait for that. Tonight we're going to have handmade burgers. Homemade burgers, sorry. <laughs> well, I guess they are handmade. <laughs> but this is our breadcrumbs, pepper, and this is the special ingredient, Epicare's Burger Seasoning. Oh, it's so good. It has a hint of dill in there, too. It's so delicious. This stuff is awesome. I used to sell this stuff, so. It's so good. It's like everything you need. I wonder what. Burgers, chicken burgers, portobello mushroom. Ingredients. Oh, they don't tell us. Just spices. Onion, garlic, red bell pepper, sea salt, herbs, and black pepper. But I know there's a hint of dill in here because mm, it, oh, it's so good. So yeah, here's a manual. I've been, he is really heavy. Like, he is a true therapy kind of doll because, like, I should, I wish I could weigh him, but he's kind of, like, not so much here. I think I did add weight to him, like more polyfill, but I have to do it again because I spend so much time cuddling this guy. Um, oh, and there's a tag that I want to do by um, my sweet couple. She has some tag questions that are really fun. That I really love to participate. And she also has her new channel up, which is her name, Linda. And I will also link that one down below down below so if you are familiar with linda my sweet cupcake please go over and um subscribe to her channel she would really really appreciate it so anyways i'm going to wait for my coffee and i'll be back and i'll answer the fun tag questions so stay tuned guys So, I noticed that Linda has re-uploaded her tag video onto her new channel. So, that's what I'll do. I'll just, I'll just uh, present her new channel, her latest channel. And the, this is a fun 10 tag question. Um, the fun 10 question tag. Tag, you're it. Hmm. My turn. I've noticed some other people have done this tag, so awesome. I've seen a few of them, but I haven't caught up to all of them that were in my feed. So I am behind on videos. Sorry about that. I've been really busy the last few days. Um, yeah, it's just busy. I've been kind of down in the in the doldrums a little bit so I didn't really feel like making videos but I did spend some time with this beautiful little one and changed him I changed his diaper oh I missed that and <laughs> with the real babies yeah, I know it's weird but uh and this is a lovely outfit I love this but here he is oh he's so cute I love how he has 
like a scratch mark on his face. He looks so realistic. I love it. He is a baldy little. He has no hair, but he is, um, he looks funny without the hat, but he is done. You can't really tell in this lighting. If it was sunny out, you would be able to see a lot more, but Aw, he is so sweet. So anyways, here are the 10 questions. Um, I will also um, have the questions down below so that you don't have to um, um, write down all the questions on your own. But I'll also link uh, Linda's video as well. So anyways, number one, do you like your name? Well, my name is Brenda. Brenda Louise and at first I think all of us as kids did not like our name <laughs> but well most of us but um now I like my name I like Brenda um it's unique it's not so popular and my middle name Louise oh I used to hate that name <laughs> so much but guess what changed my mind now I love my name do you know why I'll tell you is from the movie Interview with the Vampire. And you know, if you're familiar with that movie, and the there was a character named Louis, and he was a really good, like, good actor. That was Brad Pitt. He, he played Louis. Now, I didn't really like Brad Pitt per se, but I did like how he acted, and I did like his character in the movie. He was a good man. Um, even though he turned into a vampire, he still didn't didn't like how it was connected with, you know, the devil and all that stuff. He didn't like that. So he tried to, I don't know, it's a good movie. Anyways, Louis. Um, so I'm like, hey, Louis, that's like the male version of Louise. I have his name. I'm like so happy and smitten. And so I love Louise. <laughs> Um, so yes, I do like my name. Now, as for my channel name, of well, of course I didn't, but I guess she was talking about your real name. Oh, and as for my last name, I hate my last name. Well, I don't hate it, but it's so common. My last name is very common, my married name. Even though I'm divorced, I did keep my married name in the sake of my sons because we share custody and I did not want a separate last name from my sons. So, um, but my maiden name, I love my maiden name. It's so unique. It's very unique. My last name is extremely unique and it was mispronounced so many, many times by, oh, I remember my principal, my elementary principal. He always got my last name wrong. <laughs> and I've been in this school for seven years, from K to six. So, and I used to win awards. See, I, I grew up back in the day when I would win awards every month, and I used to win at least two or three awards every month. I used to win for math, LA, and need a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays they let everyone win I mean it's so different so anyways whole other topic number two if not what name would you choose now say if I didn't like my name I always loved the name Amy so um that was I used to have an imaginary friend um she wasn't invisible she was actually a thing and um, I called her Amy. And I'm pretty sure now that I look back, the name Amy is from my very first horror, horror movie that I've seen when I was a kid. I forget. I might have been like eight, seven or eight. Um, see, I was introduced to horror movies pretty early. Like not as early as some kids nowadays. Like They watch horror movies at four or five or oh, not that young. I was older. But the movie, He Knows You're Alone, and there was a black-haired character with fair skin just like me, and her name was Amy, and I really liked that. See, growing up, I was the only one around me with black hair. Like, I had jet black hair. I've been dyeing it lately, and it, even the dye that I use isn't as black as what my hair really was. So, um, yeah... 
And my family always had either blonde or brown or red heads in their family. No one had black hair except for my dad. But he's a guy there was no female to look up to. My grandma Gordonier, see that's my maiden name. <laughs> she had black hair, but when I knew her it was always gray, like white, white hair. So um I used to hate my hair color and I and my skin is so fair. It was fairer than my relatives and um it was kind of hard to associate or identify myself with somebody. But this one girl in that movie, Amy, she had the black hair and the fair skin. And I'm like, well. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this this tag is going to be long, Linda, <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay, number three. If you could write a book, what topic would you write about? Oh, definitely my life. I started writing about my life. My life story is so unique very interesting i don't have a birth certificate um my birth from birth i've had a unique story um even into my childhood where i grew up people even where i grew up i grew up at a lake in a community of no more than 17 families there's probably less than that but but like how how is <laughs> how many people could say that like, you know that movie, um, Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito, and they were brought up in two different places, and Arnold grew up, like, being very bright, very smart, very, um, like, you know, how they were brought up, and Danny DeVito was raised in the city in a foster care, and, um, and Arnold, his character never swore, never was, he was just naive, he was never... Um, exposed to a lot of negative things in the world and in a way I was like that I was so naive and I didn't I was shocked at some of the human behavior that I learned when I got older and um, I guess I was a doormat for a lot of people because uh, or a victim of because people could tell and in fact even when I met Francis I met him back in 2010. Even back then, I didn't know a lot of things about street smart. So I, I, I consider myself averagely book smart, but okay, I am book smart. But, but as for street smarts, I really suck. Although I learned quite a lot lately. And like just in my 30s, I've learned a lot. But anyways, how in the heck did that <laughs> So if I could write a book, what topic would you write about? My life. That's what it would be like. Number four, what upsets you or makes you angry most? Oh, you know what I really hate? I hate disrespectful kids. And I hate, like, defiant kids. Like, when they look right up at you and go, no. Oh, I hate, well, after you tell them to do something. It's like, excuse me? But what makes me really, really angry is seeing um, elderly abuse really, really makes me upset. And um, any, in fact, any kind of abuse towards um, like elderly, the mentally challenged, the handicapped, um, anyone, children, animals, just like abuse like that is just physical abuse especially I really really hate that but any form of disrespect I, I don't like I don't like number five what makes you happy <laughs> lots of things make me happy even when I open up the windows and see a beautiful sky that makes me happy um you know what you know what I used to love to do and this may sound really crazy but I used to just sit in the grass and I would pick a blade of grass and I would think you know what I am probably the only human ever to touch this blade of grass and I'll be the first one and the last one ever in time and to me that's so astonishing or if I place my hand on an old 
like old 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 wall from like built in 1900s or even before that and I placed my hand upon that wall it's like so amazing to me <laughs> so anything can make me happy um Francis when he comes home with like picked wildflowers from the yard or the lilac tree that makes me so happy or when my kids do that they do that too <laughs> or when they bring me home a little treat that just makes me so happy and I love it watching um people who are kind to each other that's really really I love that I love seeing that so number six what do you look for in a friend um I guess I could say I have a lot of friends uh, more so acquaintances I have a variety of different types of friends and um but my best friend is just loyal trustworthy and um I don't know my best friend uh I'm now 45 and I met her when I was four and we're still best friends she doesn't live near me anymore but she lives uh close to me we see each other at least twice a year and we're always like sisters <laughs> so um but I have a lot of friends. I have different personalities of friends. And uh, I call, I guess they would be more of acquaintances. But um, my best friends are people who are a lot like me. Things that we have in common. Things that we share interests. And the same mindset. The same morals and the beliefs. Because it's hard to be a friend if you're conflicting with your beliefs a lot. So... Number seven, what were your favorite movies to your childhood? Oh my goodness, what? This is going to take forever. <laughs> I love tons and tons and tons of movies. Um, I love, okay, let's see. Um, my first ever movie, and I still own them. I'll show you. Ding, ding, slink on over with me to all our movies and TV shows. Um, okay, the, I remember when I was super, super young. I loved this. Return from Witch Mountain or Escape from Witch Mountain is by Walt Disney. I loved these this series. I absolutely loved it. Anything to do with magic or adventure was what I really, really loved. I loved this movie when I was younger, and I loved this movie when I was younger. Um, I have the Goonies in there. I love the Goonies. Um, what else? Willow. Willow was one of my favorites. Beastmaster was one of my favorites. I love the Superman. Um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I loved that movie. Let's see. When I was younger. Oh, when I got, like, The Running Man. I love Arnold Schwarzenegger action movies. Um, I love John Candy movies. Um, Who's Harry Crumb, Armed and Dangerous. Uh, I loved Mosquito Coast. My number one favorite of all that. This is the first movie I actually watched. Like, from beginning to end. Um in one sitting <laughs> well no it was my second one the very first one that I've seen from front to beginning is Terms of Endearment I really really love that movie too so my rental is always funny <sighs> let's see I loved Big when I was younger um The Karate Kid oh I love this series so much so much Let's see, those are all the Losts. I love Demolition Man, Tango and Oh, Red Sonja. I really loved Red Sonja when I was younger. Uh, the Conans when I was younger. Airplanes when I was younger. Let's see, Breakfast Club. Well, I was getting a little older then. Um, Team Wolf when I was a little old. Oh, there's Terms of Endearment. Um, Cocoon I really enjoyed when I was younger. Predator. Mannequin, I really loved. True Beverly Hills, I love that movie. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Because I love camping and the outdoors, but yet, the girly girl. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, 
Working Girl is my favorite, but I was older when I was watching that. This is the Cheers whole series. Um, yeah, I still have some VHS up here. <laughs> oh, The Parent Trap, but the original. This is also the remake, which I also love. What else is old up here? Oh, I loved Cena when, but I was older. Degrassi Junior High, I loved those series. When I was a kid, I would run home from school and watch it. Absolutely loved it. Here's the Roseanne whole complete series of the older, older one. I gotta put these batteries somewhere. Um, what else is old? Oh, the entity. When I was getting a little older, like, but still a kid, I loved these whores. The entity, uh, Amityville's. I used to love all those. The series is my favorite, but I was a kid. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I love that. Oh, Christmas Story. Oh, favorite tradition every year. The Alien series. Oh, my number one fave. This is all a mess. <laughs> Um, to, oh, Bewitch. When I was a really young kid, I loved Bewitch. When I was really, really, really young. Uh, the Exorcist, Flowers in the Attic. Um, the Shining, I loved, that was my one of my favorite movies as a kid. There's more of the Degrassi's. Mark and Mindy, I loved that show. Twilight Zone. Looney Tunes. I loved Bugs Bunny. I still do. Um, Beetlejuice, well, kind of. I was a little getting a little older. Seventh Heaven, I love I have the whole entire series. Um Toy Soldiers was a good movie that I don't own yet. I wanna look for Toy Soldiers. That's the one with um not not the Christmas Toy Soldiers. It will be a um action Toy Soldiers. That was a really good movie. Anyways, probably the youngest from when I was really young. When I was really young, I really loved, like, um, anything to do with magic and adventure. I loved it. And then soon, aliens and horror. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? It's surprising that I didn't turn up to be goth. Like, really. Like, because I loved blood and gore. I used to. I loved it. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> it's amazing how my, you would, oh, anyways. <laughs> okay, number eight, describe my personality. I'm super quiet, super nice, super patient. I have a patience of like, oh, like I have a really high patience. Um, it's not tolerance. Tolerance and patience are different. Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, I know. Okay, me a couple of years ago in our school, we did a workshop on how to, um, I forget, actually I forget what this was called. It was a few years ago, but the, what we did had to do is with our staff, and we had a staff of, it was really large. In fact, we didn't even finish this assignment, but. What we did was we wrote our name on the piece of paper and the paper was passed around and people had to write down statements of you as a person, like what they think of you, like how, who is Brenda is what, and you had to say something nice, but honest. So honestly, this is what people thought of me. I love this piece of paper. I'm keeping it forever. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> that was my, that's my printing. I'm very caring, worthy advice, really great with children, friendly smile. <laughs> Aw, didn't know how to spell grateful. It's cute. Okay, wait, I have to cough. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> very sweet, like candy. Aw, has a beautiful smile, loves children, kind, nice, beautiful. Fun and flowers. Okay, cute, friendly, quiet, sincere, nice smile, loud. 
I was saying, who wrote that? And <laughs> probably one of my old students. <laughs> Sweet, fun, awesome lady. Gentle, but talkative when visiting her. <laughs> That's so true. I'm gentle, but talkative when. See, I'm very talkative if I get to know. Oh, it smells nice. Okay. <laughs> nice and friendly. Very nice, nice smile. Aw. Thanks, guys. And it was all anonymous, but you know what? I remember. Where's, where's this one? That's my principal. <laughs> that was my boss who wrote that. I recognize his writing. <laughs> but anyone else, I'm not sure. The only time I can be loud is if I'm having fun and teaching because I love teaching and I love animating when I teach. So um, I can get loud, but if another um, adult comes in, then I go really quiet. Well, it depends on who they are. If I trust them and know them, consider them a true friend, then I will continue to be loud and fun. Anyways, but, that's um, my personality. Bye, my co best co-workers in the world. I miss you guys. So, um, yeah. Number nine. Do you like to show your face on YouTube? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, sometimes. Um, yeah, I have shown my face on YouTube, so. Um, and you know what? It's nice when I get compliments, like, you're pretty, and I like your hair, and I, because I don't normally get that in, in real life. In fact, in real life, I don't get that at all. I'm very different around me. Um, people just stare at me and think, ooh, who's that? Like, I never, I don't know. So it's kind of nice. I kind of do. And if I don't get that feedback, I don't always get feedback like that. But when I do get it, it's very, it feels very nice because I'm not used to it. Um, I used to hate my look so much. I mean, well, I think, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess there are people that love their looks. They're called narcissists, I, I think that's a word. But I'm not like that. But anyways. Um, number 10, three fun things you like to do. You know what? I love making up lists. <laughs> I, I do, especially like inventory lists, like camping lists. Uh, what's listed in my pantry? What's listed in my freezer? What's listed on my DVDs? Um, what do I have to do today? What do I have to pack? for vacation. I love writing lists. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, I love talking. <laughs> um I I love plant like making journals, like uh philofaxes. I love making journals and planners and stuff like that. I really love it like stickers, uh washi tape, um gel pens, uh the works. I love doing that. Um, another thing I like to do is what I love. Well, you must know I love watching movies. Um, I love editing, uh, my videos for YouTube. I'm not perfect at it, but I, I love it. I love making the stop motion and, um, stuff like that. So yeah, I like making videos for YouTube, like editing them. Um... Another thing I love to do, you know, I love uh, camping gear and survivalist gear. And I love, um, like, getting together, like, a, they're called bugle bags, but, or, like, preparation kits. I love gathering stuff for that, like, for camping. And, yeah, that's just me going like this. Sorry if I'm annoying. Um, so yeah, that's what I love to do. And I love spending time with kids. You know what? I think if I don't hear back from, um, a school this week, I am going to open up a home daycare. So, yeah, because I, I love spending times with babies, kids, toddlers, and, uh, people say it's a lot of work, but... You know what? I've been in kindergarten for so long and I've had over 20 kids that age group, age 3, 4, and 5, all by myself. 
some of them in a school setting where you're not allowed to scream or have loud fun. So <laughs> LVs here, they can have some loud fun if they want. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I'm looking forward to it. I don't mind changing real diapers or feeding them, cleaning the bottles. Actually, that's a fun, I do like cleaning. <laughs> I do. I remember, you know what, when I was a kid, I told my cousin, I said that if I don't get a teaching job, because I always wanted to be a teacher since I was like seven, and I said, um, if I'm not a teacher, I want to be your maid. <laughs> So she's like, okay, you could be my maid. <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to be a teacher or a maid when I was younger. So I do enjoy cleaning. I really do. It's kind of fun. Uh, although having kids, you don't have as much time to clean. So it's like a fast clean. But thorough cleaning, I really, I really enjoy that. And I also love watching movies where they have to like clean like there's some movies where they move into a new place or or renovate a home and I love when they have to clean it up and oh, I love it I don't know why but Mosquito Coast they have to they build a whole like house from scratch a little village from scratch from nothing you had to clear trees clear grass and they built it I love I love that so I used to have forts too when I was younger. I loved them. And because I'm a girl, I was not allowed any hammers, no nails, no string, no tape, no scissors, no nothing. Because I was a girl, no knives, nothing to help me build forts. I used to build forts from scratch. I I weaved uh, grass to make like strong string. Uh, I used rocks. I used sticks. I used, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> so anyways guys I talked on way too much please check out Linda's video I will only link her new channel with the tag on it because I noticed that she uploaded this original video onto her new channel so that's good good and uh, I will also link um, copy and paste the questions that she has uh, there are 10 questions so, um, she forgot to do that on her uploaded video, but she has it, like, she has it right here, if you can see that, on her old channel. But on her new uploaded video, she does not have the questions, but I'll have them down below. Anyways, my voice sounds like I've been talking and talking forever. Sorry about that. But, yeah, I wonder who is this person, like thumbing down videos all the time. I notice every video I've been watching lately there's people thumbing it down. It's like, ugh. But anyways. <laughs> even mine. But, uh, anyways guys have a great day. Thank you so much for being here and until next time, touch a hand. Match it, match it. Love you guys. Thank you for being here and thank you to all the new subscribers. I love it. Thank you so much for all your kind words. I really, really appreciate it. And I do mean it because um, we all have our down days, right? So uh, thank you for lifting me up, guys. Thank you. I hope that you have a really, really wonderful day. Love you. Bye.